All right, so I'm going to be quickly showing you how you can set up a bot using Discord Bot Studio. So once you've downloaded DBS from Steam, the next step is to go ahead and Google uh, just Discord Bot Developer. And this first result will give us the Discord Developer site. Um, so if you don't have an account here or you're not signed in, you're going to need to do that first. But once you are, you'll see this screen. We're on the Applications tab. And then we're going to want to create a new application and this is going to be the name of our bot basically so i'll just call this one uh steam tutorial <clears throat> and then we can create that um and right now this is not yet uh really a bot uh so to do that what we're going to need to do is go to the bot tab click add bot and then confirm that so now we actually have a bot um, and then obviously we're going to want to invite this to our server. So to do so, we'll come to the OAuth2 tab, come down here, click this bot uh, checkbox, and then it'll give you an invite link, which you can copy. I'm just going to paste that in a new tab. Um, and then I'm going to select the server that I want to add it to and then authorize. And then once I do the captcha, it's going to be added to the server. So now you can see the Steam tutorial bot is in the server. Um, so that's all good. So we can close this tab now. Um, and then so the next step is we're going to want to open Discord Bot Studio. So if this is your first time using it, we're going to have to create a new bot from inside DBS. So we'll go to the Choose Bot screen. And then down here at the bottom, we have an option to create a new bot. Uh, so to do so, you first have to choose a folder. Um, I have already made a folder that I want to use. So I'm going to select that and then just give it a name doesn't really matter what the name is <clears throat> and then if I click save bot we'll get a little spinner here um, and this is just copying like the basic bot files over to this folder that we selected um, like basically like template files um, and now so if I come to commands uh, when you make a new bot you have these default commands so these will work uh, right away in the server uh, but before we can start the bot we need to come to the setup page and then fill in a few things for the command prefix, I'm just going to use um, exclamation point since that's pretty normal. Uh, bot token, we need to come back to the Discord developer site. Uh, we're on our bot still, Steam tutorial. So the token is on the bot tab. And then you can click this copy here to reveal the token. Don't share this token with anyone. That is a secret. Um, and then we also need the client ID. So back on uh, this site here. If we go to the general information tab, you can see the client ID here, copy that, and then head back to DBS and paste it in. Now we can click save, we'll get green checks if all these have been done correctly. Uh, and then finally we can run this bot. So on the run tab, if we click start bot, uh, now if we come over to uh, Discord, you can see the bot has now started. And as I told you, um, there's a few default commands you get when you make a new bot, and one of those is help. So if I call help, uh, you can see it returns like this basic menu. And these commands are just to show you like how really simple commands work in DBS. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Start to finish how to make a bot using DBS. Setup is pretty straightforward. And uh, I tried to run through that as quickly as I could. So thanks for bearing with me.